hey you guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl stephanie charlene marie welcome back to charlene marie lifestyle today we're going to be talking about elevating our kitchen in a simple way meaning things that you can do to elevate your kitchen um, using just simple things case in point so i ordered this little thing off of amazon this is a glass bottle right it's a mister but you see this wooden type of um screw on top it just looks so pretty in my all white kitchen I do have a all white kitchen tour. I'll do another one if you would like. I can, I can do another one because I have bought some new things <laughs> per usual. And so to me, this just elevates um, your kitchen. It just makes things look more crisp, pristine, clean, neat, put together. I think this was $7.99. I will link it, okay? Um what's inside that bottle so you already know you already know i'm a beekman girl a beekman 1802 girl so you know i'm loving the brand you know i have sensitive skin can't have a lot of perfumes and things but if i had to have an air freshener just an overall odor eliminator this beekman beekman 1802 happy place odor eliminator it smells so good it's in a scent called um sweet grass it smells so 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 good let me tell you it's very clean um just a very mild smell you know like i said i have sensitivities like things with vanilla a heavy vanilla undertone breaks my skin out breaks me out in hives it's just a whole situation and so when i do use a freshener because i like my house to have like that mall you know that upscale smell beekman 1802 it came in a um i think a pack of four and it was a really really good price you can look on their website i got this from hsn what i normally do is google a product that i want to purchase and see who has it the lowest and hsn often runs sales so even though they sell beekman um i know in nordstrom's alta and the beekman website hsn also have it and so you want to go where they have the sale so this is the product that's inside of the bottle but do you want this or this sitting out on your, your, your on your counter no shade to beekman by the way <laughs> but i'm just saying i'm just saying which one do you want and another thing i'm going to be honest that i don't like about this sprayer when you spray it it comes out like a cleaning spray it just shoots across the room we can't be doing it we can't be doing it we need a mist you know we girly girls we want to just a slight i want to spray my camera miss you hear that it's a mist so i spray about three of this three little sprays in the room it smells so good let me smell oh yeah it smells so good so when i say this is a great odor eliminator and just you know how sometimes you just want to freshen up your space this right here but we're elevating it and putting it in this i just think this is so cute for the kitchen okay worry about that later so this is my cleaning solution this is alcohol what is in here alcohol is it lavender let's see i think alcohol mint and dishwashing liquid you know um because of my sensitivities i try to keep everything mostly neutral clean not a lot of mixing smells and so this is my overall cleaning solution that i use for the kitchen but look what i have in here this is another glass bottle it does have a silicone um what do you call it 
base so when you sit it on a countertop like when you're having when you have countertops like granite marble things of that nature it's just good because it, you're not slamming it down because it's not plastic and so I love 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 this actual bottle and it looks so pretty like when you see it sitting on the counter you can clearly tell it's glass and so I like this elevated look because when it's sitting on my counter it doesn't say Clorox it doesn't say this it's just aesthetically pleasing to me so speaking of aesthetically pleasing you know it's the little things it's the little things y'all to make the huge things wouldn't you agree so uh, okay so i bought new microfiber tiles but look at this tell me these are not so cute i'm going to first tell you that i love like the ribbed um scalloped detail look at that okay stop night and I love the color muted colors they came in a pack like this I will link these two they have gray dark gray light gray tan and this creamy color very neutral pack when I'm cleaning my kitchen I do like a neutral pack you know I have the pink yellow red blue I use those to clean the rest of the house more so um, to separate them from the kitchen tiles like the microfiber tiles but I just love the calmness I really want to get other colors and just have them all muted except for the basement and just leave the colors for the basement I really just like the calmness like I just need things to not be so loud even the simple things that personally bothers me I know you like girl it's a tile it matters to me so much because when you are a homebody you're in the house you enjoy being in your home things that normally may not bother people who are not homebodies bother me because it's my surrounding all the time you know so I like to elevate my surroundings and when I find something I'm like mm, that's cute now I will say they're thinner than a traditional microfiber tile I like that as well because I do have long fingers but I have small hands so I don't need like a huge tile to try to you know wipe something down I need it to more so fit my hands and so I feel like those are girly tiles for girls love that so I have been using that one for about the past two weeks I kind of been waiting to do this video before I broke them out to show you guys but if you want a cute muted microfiber tile those are it and I really like that they're thin and they dry really fast you guys the next thing that was actually getting on my nerve was I'm gonna show you I'm, let me pull it out my yellow kitchen gloves i was like when i walk in my kitchen in the morning i'll be like oh it's so nice and clean in here and i will see those gloves night he's so upset because i locked him out of this room he is just a mess okay spoiled brat it's okay sweetie like he's literally right there but he's mad because he's away from me so at any rate um when i would walk into the kitchen in the morning i would be like those gloves it's just it's just that bright yellow it was like doing something to my mental i promise you so i searched and searched and searched online i even mentioned it in a couple videos like oh them gloves like when i was going back editing i was like oh them gloves it just did something to me and i always have to wear gloves because you know my nails stay fire so I have to get some gloves look what I found so right, make sure my, so ah okay these are yellow no no creamy clear gloves look how it matches my kitchen 
<laughs> I know you like girl everything don't have to match it doesn't but I just love the aesthetic of it all I just love it and I want to tell you Tell you another thing that really tripped me out this is what was funny so the yellow gloves when I would get my nails done I can easily poke a hole right poke a hole right through them these gloves are more durable so not only are they more aesthetically pleasing they're actually very functional as well everything I'm actually showing you is aesthetic but it's also very very functional and you know we want both we want aesthetically pleasing and functional over here you know in my community the cml community and so i will link these gloves is it joy echo so this is how the gloves look they just come in here and they come in a pack of three and i believe these are a size medium that i have does it say yeah i'll link it but i believe it's a medium it says on the back, fits almost like skin. Yes, it does. Easy to put on and take off. Yes, it is. So this, um, actually, I have another pack, and so I have two of these, but they're bomb. So I will link these and try them out and let me know. Here's, this is my Stanley. So you know we're, I don't know if I showed you guys, but you know we're in the Stanley cr craze, right? So... I have two of these this is the 16 ounce and I have the 20 ounce work so good for coffee and water I use the larger one for my water and this one if I want to take some coffee now um I like the color you know I'm a creamy girl you know so yes I have cream but I'm going to tell you what I love about this a I can take my water from home my coffee from home and I can lay it straight down like this in my purse and I don't care what it it's just in my purse moving around or whatever and it does not spill this is like their mountain climbing flow cup um, but it stays sealed and it doesn't leak so if you're looking for a cup that does not leak now this one is not slated for coffee but I use it anyway I don't go like this because it'll pour out really really fast I don't like that it's really for water so if I use it for coffee I just drink it like this I really drink my water like this because I like to sip I don't like anything that just flows out fast I ended up buying these because if I'm on the go I love that I don't have to worry about carrying it in my hand sometimes those little bottles of water or like just different cups you can't put them in your bag so you you're constantly confined and I'm not just talking about Stanley I'm talking about a regular water bottle any other water bottle even if they say leak proof they be leaking <laughs> they don't be telling the truth and I don't want my electronics or whatever to be getting getting wet now mostly I'll leave it standing up but there has been several times where my cup you know went over and there was no problem at all so I would definitely recommend this for the girlies okay and it's aesthetically pleasing it's functional it 100% works because if anything would leak out of my purse girl I would be highly highly upset all right okay so and the next thing that I feel that simple chic that you know a kitchen should have is a book and when I say a book just a pretty book a book that kind of represents your like style whether you're artsy person muted person whatever type of you know person you are you want something that represents you okay so even if you get the book from the thrift store if you, if it's thrifted gifted dollar store wherever find a good book and put it in your kitchen here I have this Vitamix book if it's linkable I will link it 
it has different recipes and everything and as you know i have a vitamix i think it's the a3500 edition i love it the pieces i use it at least once a day sometimes three times a day it depends on the day okay but every day it gets used but i love this book i love it's black i love the pop of color the pop of green right and i love it's suede i don't know if you can see but the book is suede it's suede it feels very luxe so that's why i chose this book to be the staple in my kitchen okay and so once again it just elevates the look you know it doesn't have to be a vitamix book it doesn't have to be a chanel book it doesn't have to be anything of you know it just should be important to you you know um i'm a true believer in staying authentic to your style if you like an amber color glass get that whatever you like get that but glass just elevates a room any room glass crystal um it mirrors it elevates the room anything that reflects lights more transparent it usually elevates a room and i love that and so any book you have that you feel that is um, something that makes you happy brings you joy you walk in oh i love that and let me show you the inside i like how it's like mostly you know dark you know it's just a recipe book sometimes i do use it for juicing and soups and smoothies and things of that nature but i just love the book it's just a clean book and so if i have it you know if they have it for sale independently i will link this book and i'm gonna tell you another thing most books are you know the standard traditional book size this one is smaller and i love that too and so when you walk in it's like not a traditional size book so i think that's cute as well and so and and two when you have a small kitchen don't think that you still can't have some of the things that the girlies with the bigger kitchens have it's your kitchen do what you want to do you know you don't have to follow trends you want to make your home cozy um and a reflection of you and make you make you happy you live there you live there cml don't live there you know so and so don't live there at the end of the day you want to stay true to your style even if someone pushes you um into something you want it to be something that you can live with colors that you can live with you okay so another thing that i feel that's very elevating and economical too are these so i don't know if you can see it let me move out of the way let me bring it closer so these are just some glass coffee mugs they do keep things cold but i love to put my coffee in here it really keeps my coffee warm pretty much for the duration of the time i'm drinking it i may have to warm it one time but i just like the clear glass really it's just something that i loved i ordered these glass these uh mugs in 2019 and they're still here they still do have them online and i think the brand is s-w-e-e-s-e -E -E. i will link them last time i checked because i wanted to order a new set just to have them and they were unavailable but that particular brand to me is the best they have several other versions of these but the other versions are broke these right here they don't break and that's probably why they're unavailable. so that's another thing make sure when you're buying things from amazon or you're buying things from you know whatever website that you're looking at the reviews sometimes things can have okay reviews but go through and peer through see if they have the negative reviews and see what they say that s-w-e-e-s-e -E -E brand chef's kiss okay so another thing to elevate your kitchen um but it's something that's easily achievable um something that's economical to purchase depending on which one you purchase is a cutting board a lot of times when i'm doing my cooking stuff 
um, on YouTube and stuff. I'm using this green thing that's bothering me. I bought them in a set at the time when I bought that particular name. Um, what is the name of that green thing? Um, Joseph and Joseph, I believe. I do like those cutting boards, but they didn't have them in a muted color when I bought them back in like 2000. And 18 and so that's why I have those colors but I like those when I'm just doing something simple but when I'm just really cooking getting into it um, making a larger dinner these are the cutting boards I like to use I actually have two so I'll clean off my counters and I'll have probably one on each side and I'm doing whatever I'm doing but a great cutting board this one let me see this one I think was gifted to me by my friend um, Jennifer a lot of times her and her husband go to, goes to this like Amish community where they have Amish shops and things and the Amish community they made this and she I don't know if she brought it for me or she gifted it to me because she didn't use it but whichever one it was I love it and I use it all the time. I have another one that's like way more heavy that I barely use because it's like gonna break my hand and pick it up. But this one is the one that I reach for the most. And so I probably won't be able to link this one, but I'll link you a couple cutting boards. I'll link one from Amazon and probably another one from like a Crate and Barrel. You know, um, one of, that's a little bit more, um, um, probably like they have different you know veinings grains like walnut this nut you know that type of thing and so because that's how my other one is down here but oh you know what i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do i'll link one from amazon and then i'll link the one that i bought from etsy because i bought one from a private seller that like cuts down trees and makes things from etsy so that's what i'll do so um yeah so that's another easy way to elevate your kitchen make sure to have you a cutting board girl even if you don't use it that much you can still have it <laughs> you can still have it okay so i guess this is the show the glass show so these are glass um containers um I just like to store my food, leftover salads and things when I can in these glass containers. I have probably about 20 of these in different sizes. I love how it makes the refrigerator look aesthetically pleasing and how it keeps things um, fresher longer than, you know, putting it in and putting things in aluminum foil or, you know, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, little baggies it just looks better and you can see things clear and you're more um, likely to go back and eat it if it's in a more appealing container and overall they're glass they're elevated we love it here <laughs> we love it here in the glass community but not least so you know I'm on my transitional situation and what do we have here fresh parsley i keep fresh parsley fresh thyme fresh basil fennel bay leaves all of that when i'm cooking and glass okay so you know those glass jars that i juice with i also use these to store my fresh um herbs what I notice is it keeps them fresh and springy. There's a few. I got to push that down. It keeps them fresh and springy. So this is a way if you want to store your fresh herbs, your living herbs, keep them in the refrigerator in a glass container. But it's the little things that give an overall aesthetic. Okay. And just the overall function. And the quality is there the quality is there right so i hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos pertaining to home decor you know your girl do it all you know i love beauty you know i love fashion you know i love home i like 
us to elevate together and just have a conversation of what I like, what you like, that type of thing, okay? Don't forget to continue to hit that notification bell as well, okay? Please comment down below and let me know when I link these things, if it's anything that you're planning to buy and how you enjoy them. So, you guys, welcome back to Charlotte Marie Lifestyle. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>